Good news tonight for passengers on the Hurstbridge line with trains set to resume tomorrow morning after a six and a half week shutdown. Let's go live to Andrew Lund at the new Rosanna station. Andrew, better late than never. Indeed, Pete. There's still plenty of construction work underway here at the new elevated Rosanna station, but it will open in time for the first train tomorrow morning, along with the rest of the Hurstbridge line, bringing what's been a frustrating wait to an end. But there was frustration this morning for passengers on the other side of the city after the discovery of a suspicious device forced the suspension of four train lines. This morning's peak hour crush brought to a standstill as police shut down North Melbourne Station. I've seen these police officers standing around this, so this garbage bin and as they were standing around it you could see them picking at this little white box. The discovery of a suspicious item on a platform left thousands of commuters stuck on trains. The train is going to move off slowly and then it's going to come to a very abrupt stop. So please, I know the train is full, if you can, please hold on to something because the stop will be rough. The lucky ones were let out at stations and told to find other ways into the city. The police incident at North Melbourne Station was potentially very serious. Police want to speak to this man in relation to the scare, while the state government has spoken to Uber after it jacked up prices. We've expressed our displeasure to Uber this morning and if they want to continue this as a business practice, that's frankly up to them. The new legislation enables us to work with other providers and we'll do just that. Officials had better news this afternoon with the Hurstbridge line set to reopen tomorrow after level crossing removal works ran overtime. Parts of the, the signalling on this track go back to the 1950s. So when you're putting in more modern systems and how they uh, interact with the overall network, it caused some additional delays and problems. And with the railway back up and running, debate in the east has turned to tollways, with the opposition saying it won't sign contracts for the North East Link. Take your pick. Daniel Andrews wants 100,000 cars extra on that road to end in a T intersection. I want to make it a free-flowing freeway. I think Victorians will have a very clear choice to make at the end of this year. Andrew Lund, Nine News.